Welcome to Nursing School Explain in this video of the assessment of the five P's of neurovascular checks or neurovascular assessment. And the five P's are pain, pallor, pulse, paresthesia, and paralysis. So those are the five things we're going to assess for here. Some of them are subjective and some of them are objective. So is there any pain in your lower extremities right now, in your feet or your toes, your ankles? No. Okay, very good. So we already know that the patient doesn't have any pain. Then we can observe the pallor, so we can see if there's any paleness in the patient's feet. And in this case, you can see this is a very active person and there's a little bit of pallor, but only from here down. And this is also what we call a sock tan, so that doesn't really apply for pallor. But we want to observe the color of the patient's toes and we can also check for circulation here by pressing down on the patient's toes and checking for cap refill. So as I press down the pinkish coloration of the toe turns kind of white and as I let go it refills really quickly. So that is the capillary refill and we want to check that in all of the 10 toes on both sides and see what we can find. I always like to check on the actual fleshy part of the toe rather than the toenail because sometimes the toenail is not there, sometimes it could be covered in nail polish and that would be very difficult to assess. So now we've assessed for pallor and pain, then we're going to assess for pulse, so pedal pulse and check out my other video on how to find the anatomical landmarks and I'm going to compare left to right. If this was an injured extremity, I definitely want to pay more attention to the injured side, but I compare them for equal pulses and strength and rate and amplitude. And then paresthesia basically means numbness or tingling. Do you have any numbness or tingling in your feet right now? No. And then I also want to assess for um, the sensation, if he can actually feel me touch him, so can you feel me touch you here? Yes. Good. And here? Yes. And here? Yes. And here? Yes. And here? Yes. How about the other side? Yes. 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 Excellent. It's always um, a good idea to maybe have the patient close their eyes so that they, they can see you and maybe um, give you a false response there. And then the third or the fifth thing with the fifth P is paralysis. So now we make sure that the patient can actually move his lower extremities. So can you please wiggle your toes? Okay, so definitely there is no paralysis because he can move all the toes. So we've checked pain, pallor, pulse, paresthesia, and paralysis, all five P's of the neurovascular assessment. Thanks for watching Nursing School Explained. See you soon.